So with this question here, okay, what's the fastest way to build a deep emotional connection with a girl and what is your process of doing it? The first thing to understand is that there is no technique for this. Okay. If you're, you know, coming from this frame here, like what is the technique to build a deep emotional connection that is real? You know, what is the technique to build rapport? Like, what can I do? It's not so much something that you do. It's something that happens as a byproduct of you not putting up this front, okay, of you being real, of you allowing yourself to be vulnerable, which is a byproduct of you switching from, you know, this competitive frame to this collaborative frame. Okay, that's the process. So first things first, okay, snap out of the competitive frame. What is a competitive frame? It's you viewing the girl as the quote unquote enemy. Okay, it's you versus the girl. There she is. What can you do to win her over? Okay, what can you do to get her attention and conquer the final boss of, you know, like a video game, let's just say. And uh, when you view the girl as the quote unquote enemy, and obviously I'm exaggerating it here, it's not so much the enemy, but she is, you know, it's like, there's the boss to conquer. There is a lot of pressure and it's very hard to, as cheesy as it sounds, open up. It's very hard to be vulnerable. It's very hard to be real because you don't feel like she's on your team. Okay. And that's why you're trying to conquer. It's like, I must conquer her to get her on my team. But if you go in with this must conquer her frame, this competitive frame, she'll most likely fall into that as well. Okay. And what is she going to do? She's going to put up a front. Okay. She's not going to necessarily open up to you. She's not going to trust you. She's not going to sleep with you, which is what you're saying here. Okay. Even what you said with, oh, she's trying to one up me. What does that say? Competitive. Okay. So you must switch to you and the girl, not versus the girl. She's already on your side. Okay, one thing I say with opening, what's the best way to open? It's not to open conquering the girl, it's to skip the open. That's the best way to open. What's the best way to open? Skip the open. Act as if you already opened her. Act as if you already are on the same side. It's all good, okay? Once you do this, once you switch from that frame, then you will finally allow yourself to be vulnerable, to be real, to let go of this shtick because you feel like she's on your side. You know, it's like, hey, she's not the enemy. She's not here to get me. Ugh. You do that, she'll follow, and as a byproduct of that, this deep emotional connection will start building, okay? And the more you can get rid of this front, the more real and vulnerable you can become, the faster it will build, okay? And lastly here, what I will say is that there is, I guess, a small technical side, okay? This will naturally happen, but if you wanna kind of amplify it, you can. Uh, it's basically the more environments you're in together, the more topics you guys discuss, the more emotions you go through together, uh, the stronger that connection, you know, the faster it'll build. Okay. You kind of amplify the effects of that bond where it's like, Hey, look, we went through all this together. There's a lot more familiarity. Okay. But without the basic, you know, you and the girl versus you versus the girl. And without the basic being real, you know, moving over to different environments is not going to help because you're doing it now as a technique to win over the boss. Okay. Competitive. So that is my answer here. Not you versus the girl, you and the girl. From there, be real, be vulnerable, get rid of the shtick. If you wanna amplify it, okay, it's the little spices on top of it all. Different environments, different topics, different emotions, and that's my answer.